It can conquer the world with its phone business. It is now aiming to do the same with Harmony OS, its software response that emerged after the US ban. Despite the ban, Huawei was able to continue using Android by leveraging its open source Linux nature. However, it was cut off from Google services and apps. Fearing potential future restrictions, Huawei started developing its own software as a contingency plan. Harmony OS has evolved from being just an Android replacement to a comprehensive software experience found in many Huawei products. Huawei's goal is to integrate Harmony OS into all its products, not just phones. In addition to mobile devices, Huawei plans to expand the use of Harmony OS to other industries and manufacturers. A recent milestone for the company is shipping Harmony OS on some cars sold in China, according to a report from Financial Times. By offering the Harmony OS experience in cars, Huawei aims to capture more consumers who are familiar with the brand and its software. It is worth noting that Huawei is still a popular brand in China, and Harmony OS is widely used there. Huawei is open to partnering with other companies besides Huawei and expanding its reach beyond China. While the company is actively seeking long-term partners, Huawei remains at the top of the list with Harmony OS. This move seems appropriate for Huawei, especially considering its software experience that lags behind other electric vehicle EV competitors. The EV segment is trending in China, and companies are fiercely competing to establish themselves. Huawei has entered the car market with its own brand, which aligns well with its expansion of Harmony OS into the automotive sector. Harmony OS offers interesting features for cars. For example, the Super Home Screen feature allows apps to work directly on the infotainment system, integrating them into the car's smart screen. Another notable feature is Dual Screen Collaboration, which enables users to edit pictures or videos on the car's large screen while sharing them on social media accounts. Harmony OS also includes Adaptive HUD, where the camera identifies the driver's eye position and adjusts the HUD's height accordingly in real time. It remains to be seen how VW cars will integrate all these neat Harmony OS features into their Chinese cars, but it presents an exciting opportunity for both Huawei and the automotive industry.